31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Ooh, you weren't kidding. You said the clouds are gone and that heat was going to feel pretty hot yeah. out yeah. there. Temperatures shot back up today. It's been humid as well, but also relatively quiet. Tomorrow we've got storm chances back in here, and some of those could be strong. But we're talking about summertime type of severe weather gotcha. potential, not springtime storms, and there can be a huge difference uh, between those two. Let's talk about it. Your severe weather threats here and the outlook over the next five days. Low end chance tomorrow, and that low end chance may extend into Saturday as well. Not going to be a totally disruptive event for your weekend plans, but just keep that in mind that we are going to be tracking some rain and some thunderstorm activity for part of the day Saturday, and maybe even a little bit on Sunday, although the storm threat I don't think will be a big issue before we do get back to calm conditions for the beginning of next week. These are the primary threats we're going to be watching for, and as is usually the case with summertime storms, gusty wind the main concern. Low to medium risk that in some isolated instances we could have some wind gusts uh, that do get as high as 50 to 60 miles per hour. For most of us though the main impact is just going to be some downpours out there. Lots of fuel in the atmosphere and with plenty of moisture available uh, that will likely lead to some torrential rainfall for those of you that see the storms. Small hail possible, large hail not so much. So I wouldn't worry about if your car is not under cover tomorrow. And we're just not going to be set up for tornado activity. I never say never, but the overall setup would be extremely unfavorable to get a storm to produce a tornado. So that's kind of not on our radar, so to speak, at the moment. Uh, and there's nothing on our radar at the moment. As we uh, take a look here at Way 31 Triple Doppler, all of North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee have been dry. You head south to Gadsden, a couple showers there, a few into Cherokee County as well, just outside of our coverage area. Uh, but it's really just all about the heat here for you Thursday. Tomorrow, though, it's going to be about some stormy weather coming through. Latest with future radar showing we will have a quiet evening and night out there. Waking up tomorrow morning to some sunshine. It'll be warm and muggy as well as the day begins. And then we hit the afternoon hours and some questions as to how early we'll have some rainfall. It's possible there may be a little bit towards midday. Uh, the, the guidance here has kind of gone back and forth. Certainly as the afternoon wears on, we will become a little bit more favorable for seeing shower and thunderstorm activity. So definitely by four o'clock likely will be an active 31 triple Doppler tracking some stronger pockets of showers and thunderstorms out there. That activity moves out during the evening hours. Much of the rest of Friday night looks quiet. And then again, Saturday, there may be another round of some showers and thunderstorms that come on through. Right now, the rain chances look a little bit lower. And again, the details uh, to be determined as far as the exact timing and placement. But uh, we will likely pick up a little bit more rain there for the start of the weekend. Bus stop in the morning. Kids will not have problems. Warm and muggy, 77. But coming home, that's going to be prime time for those scattered showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures before any rain gets going will be back into the low, maybe mid 90s. And because of the high humidity, we do have a heat advisory that's now in effect for your Friday. It does include Fayetteville to Huntsville, Arab, Coleman County and points westward. It does not include the northeast corner of the state. That maximum heat index or feels like number maybe up to 107 in a few spots. 96 in the Shoals tomorrow, 94 Athens, 95 in Decatur. 93 in Huntsville, 94 for Scottsboro will be in the low 90s around Gunnersville as well as Fort Payne. All right, here's a look at your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day forecast 50% chance for storms tomorrow. We'll keep a 40% chance for rain and some thunderstorm activity on Saturday. And then by Sunday, that rain chance is down to 20%. Temperatures will start backing down a bit over the weekend and particularly by Sunday, you'll start to notice a drop off in the humidity that is going to set us up. For a really nice stretch of weather next week, we've brought the temperatures down a little bit more, including those overnight lows. We should have low humidity most of next week with highs primarily in the mid to upper 80s. And morning lows getting well down into the 60s, especially by the middle of next mm -hmm. week, maybe close to that 60 degree mark. We've been talking about this. We'll get that teeny tiny hint of fall. Uh, in the air heading into those morning hours for next week. So definitely looking forward to that again tomorrow. We'll be focused on some afternoon storms. Sounds great. Yeah, it's great to see those 60s up there. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So we get through the stormy weather next couple days and hey, we've got a nice stretch next and week. And you know it's coming. Football yep. season. Yeah. yeah. And pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> there, <you go. laughs> there we go. <laughs> you said it first. <laughs>